if we don't, have, if something is not clear to us, Allah told us, go to the people of knowledge. So this is very clear to us. If you want to understand mathematics, and who are the people of knowledge? People. That's a bit vague. Oh. Right? I, I thought Allah's book was clear, but unfortunately, all, all he hasn't told people, us who the people. people of knowledge. Anyone with people of knowledge. Mathem my teacher of maths. He's, he's a person of knowledge. He has a knowledge of mathematics. So I go to go to, go to him. But I thought the Quran was clear. Right? Like Allah said clearly that the Quran is a clear book on everything. So why is clear to me and not to you? That's why it says clear to the people who You'd have to ask people. Allah because no. Allah says the Quran is clear on everything. So, <laughs> so hold on. Really Abbas, the Quran, the, Abbas, the Quran should be able to tell me. Just, just no, allow me to finish here. The Quran should be able to tell me exactly what my math question answer is. The Quran should be able to tell me how to build a Ford Mustang. Tell you what? The Quran should be able to tell me how to build a Ford Mustang. Mosque? The Quran should be able to tell me how to build a Ford car. Ford car? Yes. No, it doesn't say that. It says it clear on everything. No, no, that's why you're misunderstanding it. That's why it says... Uh, what do you mean I'm misunderstanding anything? Let me so, explain. can you show me where the Quran you're says... you speak, yeah. Come on. You, uh, you're talking over I'll let you speak off this, right? But something. can you show me where the Quran says clearly mm -hmm. that that verse you just described, yeah, is not talking about being clear on everything, but clean, clear or, or being clear on God. Show me, me that in the verse. You must understand Quran holistically. And any book you want to read, you must understand holistically. Remember when I mentioned about the David? and uh, Bathsheba, yeah. you want to go to other places that, to understand the whole intertextual meaning of, of the Bible. It's the same way when the Quran is saying you must understand holistically. For example, Allah is telling you, if you don't understand anything, go to the people of knowledge. I don't understand mathematics. Well, I have to go to the uh, person of mathematics. I'm not going to go to the sheikh. I'm not going to go to imam. I don't understand biology. I'm going to go to the expert who knows biology. So if, if you don't know the Quran, second, who do you go to? One second. When it says... Uh, no, 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 Abbas. If, Abbas, Abbas you know, if you don't know the Quran, no, no, who do you I go to? I let you speak. You don't let me speak. I have to clarify. Abbas, people, Abbas, people Abbas if you don't know the Quran, who are you going to go to? If I'm not allowed to speak, then I'm going to go, isn't it? That's why you want I'm to asking you a simple question. No, no, I don't know why it's so hard. finish my point. My point is, Quran is very clear. That if you don't understand you're not, you're, you're anything, not bringing a point. That's if that's, you don't understand anything, go to the people of knowledge. Meaning, what anything we're talking about? Who are the people of knowledge? Though? Who are they? Any field of knowledge. Any field of knowledge. Like for example, if you want to understand maths, I'm going to go to the mathematician. I, I'm so, so what? You. Hold on. If, if, I have, if I have an issue with plumbing, if I have an, so example, if I have an issue with plumbing, right? Why would I need to read the Quran to tell me plumbing. if you don't know plumbing? Do you know what plumbing, plumbing is? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If I have an issue with my plumbing, yeah. why would I need to read the Quran and, and, no, and hear Allah yeah, telling me no, if you don't have a if you have a problem with if no, no. things, go to somewhere with knowledge. I'll just go and call a plumber, mate. Allah is just telling a basic thing. It's just like father and uh, mother is telling their children. If you don't understand something, go to the people. So of if knowledge. you don't understand so the same. Quran, who do you go to? If you don't understand the Quran, if you don't understand the Quran, the person who understands the Quran. Okay, so who understands the Quran? Uh, Muhammad Rasulullah, number one. He understands the Quran. Wrong. Quran. So the Quran actually says this, right? So if you, Muhammad, are in doubt concerning that which we have revealed unto you, what is okay, yes. what is revealed unto very, you, Muhammad? Very good. Very good. What? Observe that. What is revealed unto you? Very good. Chapter ten, verse ninety-four. Yep. Now. That in the Torah and Jewel, then ask those who are reading the book and the Jewel before you. So in order to in, in order to know about your Quran, you need to come to people like me and the Jews. So you make earlier claim, Quran says if you don't understand anything, remember, if you don't understand anything. I, I don't know why you're drug on you're dragging on that word, bro. Like answer the question. So Quran doesn't say that. No, it's very important. It's very important that Quran did not say that if you don't understand anything. What what is what is been revealed to what's been revealed to Muhammad? Don't ask, stop asking me question again, question over what question. You <laughs> I'm going to answer your question, first question. Abbas, come on, it's a, it's a simple question. 94, I'm going to deal with it. This, oh, this well, word, well, then deal with it. Word, it's, no. it's, it's, it's pretty I'm, simple. I'm it says, so if you, you Muhammad, are in doubt concerning that which is revealed unto you, John, are your names written in the Torah and the Gospel, then ask those who were, who, who were reading, reading the book for you. Reading commentary here. This isn't commentary. Okay. This is more Sinkhan, unless you want to read another translation. Yeah, it's, it really says Torah and all that. Yeah, yeah, it shouldn't say and that. that. And, and exactly. if that, but that, that's not my problem. That's more Sinkhan's problem. Mate. No, that's not, <laughs> no. Why are you adding that as reading that as a Quran? I didn't read it. It's, it's what it said. I got the so translation on. Brackets, brackets is not the Quran. Let's read what the Quran. All right, says. I'll, 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 I'll ignore the brackets. All right. So and if thou art in doubt concerning that which reveal unto thee, then question those who read the scripture before thee. 
So ignoring all the brackets is still talking about people who raise scripture before you. Two minutes, if you please, I want you to be sincere when I'm going to answer you because this is very important. People make a mistake of that. Even sometimes, some the Muslim Quran is telling you to come to us to learn about your own revelation. Allow, allow me two minutes to answer you, and I, I hope I will clear this thing to you. If you have a sincere, I'll, I'll give you two minutes. Go yes, on. Thank you very much. So I'm going to read chapter verse 94. So if you are in doubt about that which we have revealed to you, then ask those who have been reading the scripture before you. The truth has certainly come to you from your Lord, so never be among the doubters. Okay, now this is verse 94. Can we read the verse before that? In the context, what he's saying? Verse 93 says this, And we have certainly settled the children of Israel in an agreeable, agreeable settlement and provided them with good things. And they did not differ until knowledge had come to them. Indeed, your Lord will judge between them on the day of resurrection concerning that over which they used to differ. So the verse 93 is telling us, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling, we settled children of Israel in an agreeable settlement and provided them with good things. Meaning, that's what happened with them. Verse 94 says, and if you have doubt what we have revealed to you, what Allah revealed? He's talking about the whole Quran? No. He's talking about this what Allah says, we settle them there. So if you have doubt that we settle them there, go and ask the people of the book. So what I'm going to do, Muhammad Sazam didn't have the knowledge of Torah. He doesn't know the history of Christians and the Jews. So what he's supposed to do, even if he doesn't, if Muslims who are listening, they're going to go ask children of Israel, is that true that you were settled in, in, the, in the settlement and God provided you? And what will they say? Yes, we did. That is what the verse 94 is talking about, what Allah revealed verse 93. Just verse one verse before. It's not talking about the whole book. How can that be? Because Allah again and again, again, holistically, Quran, if you want to understand the Quran holistically, Allah again and again says that. They have distorted the Quran, chapter 5, verse 13 and 14, and they have forgotten the portion of it. So how can Allah say, go to them and ask them? But this particular story, everybody knows that. All Jews can confirm, yes, it's true, that we have been settled. So verse 94 is talking about only this story, what we reveal to you, that they were settled. Not the whole book. Well, really if, if it was it. talking about specifically that verse, then you have a problem with verse 94, because verse 94 is saying, and I'll read it again, if doubt were in doubt as to what we have revealed unto thee. Yeah. Unto thee. Verse 93. Is verse 93 yeah. the only thing that Allah revealed? No, no. That's exactly context. It's the context. It's talking about... No, the, the, here's the thing, Abbas. What Abbas, Allah revealed to him? Verse 93 we, isn't the only thing that Allah, no, Allah revealed to no, Muhammad, no, no, correct? No, I'm not saying that. But and also it says here, and if you if you paid attention to what you said, because the Quran wasn't in scriptures by the time I, 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 sorry, allow me to finish, because I gave you time, right? But so so by the time Allah revealed to Muhammad scriptures, right? Those were in oral form, correct? Do you believe that? Yeah, and right. as well. So why does yeah, Matt, so why does Allah if we follow your interpretation, right? That Allah is specifically talking about this one instance where Israel's were settled, right? If we follow your instance, right? Why is he saying here? If thou were in doubt as to what we revealed unto thee, then ask those who've been reading the book bef from before thee, yeah. the truth indeed come to thee from thy Lord. What were they reading before thee? Let me answer that. Because Quran didn't came in the one book. Quran came sometime here, verses, some verses there, some verses there, and some surahs doesn't come just in one day. Why would it need to be oh, those who are yeah. reading the book so before them? Remember, just just analyze, analyze, or just think about it. The verse 93 comes. We settle them. It's in, not. In, but here's the thing. It's not talking about I'm verse 93. I'm, I'm answering. You're, you're not answering. I'm answering. 93 comes before 94. Yes. No, no. The, the point. You're not answering my question. Comes right? comes Your point was that this was this specific instance in verse 94 is talking about verse 93. What I'm saying is, why would Allah say, if thou were in doubt as to what we have revealed unto thee, then ask those who have been reading the book from before you. Because Th this, first of all, verse 93, is, verse 93 is not in the Torah or in the Gospel, correct? Is verse it, 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 Abbas, Abbas, Abbas don't please. Torah, it is is verse 93, is verse 93 in the, in the Torah that. and the Gospel? I'm not saying that. Well, the, well hold on, but your interpretation oh, was man, that this was talking about verse going? 93. Can I? Your interpretation was that this was talking about you you were claiming that this was talking about verse 93. I'm, I'm right? That, I'm but the verse is saying clearly that if you are in doubt, go to those who have been reading the scripture whoa, before whoa, 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 whoa. you. So when, it cannot be talking I, about verse 93. When did I say verse 93 is you, you literally brought up verse 93? No, verse 93 is there. When did I say that? I say this story that they were settled, children of Israel were settled in the Holy Land or in a particular land. They were settled and they were provided food 
Does that happen or not? Yes, in your Torah it says, they were settled. God settled them, God gave them the land. Settled down there, provided for them. That revelation, that was a revelation for Muslims, for the Arabs, people of Mecca, they're living there, for, for them it was a revelation. So that's it. what is revealed to them, what is revealed, or oh, they were settled. Okay, so if anybody have a doubt, go and ask the people of the work and they will verify it. That's your answer, you don't want to accept it, it's up to it's you. Not, it's not a good answer because he even says in the very it first you pull it up, which completely destroys your argument by the way. And indeed we settled the children of Israel in an oval dwelling place, so that's Sham and Misra, and providing them with good things. And they differed not until the knowledge came to them. So they differed after that, correct? What knowledge? It says here, and provided them with good things, and they differed not until the knowledge came to them. So what knowledge came to them? Bro? They differed not but when the knowledge came to them. So you Read the verse. So bro. you change the question now. I haven't changed the question at all. I'm, I'm going on your paradigm. What's, what's your point? You brought up verse 93. What's the, point the, the point I'm making is the verse beforehand is not related to verse after, for this reason, right? And indeed, we settled the children of Israel in an oral dwelling place, Sham and Misra, and provided them with good things, and they differed not until knowledge came to them. So what did they differ on? So that means when the Torah came to them, or in, in Jesus came to what, them, many, what, what many, did they pro differ many prophets on? came to them. Jews always differ in many things. Okay, so what did they differ on? Didn't Jews differ ever? Jews no, no, in this verse, what did they differ on? In this verse? In this specific verse where it says they no, differed, no. what did they differ this on? This is talking about in general. Jews did differ and they go away from the way of God. Some started worshipping idols when they were under Romans. Okay, so, so, so if we use that. your interpretation yeah, that we are to go to the Jews about this specific verse, the verse itself is telling you that they differed. So why would, you, why would Allah tell you to go to a people who no, differed on the verse? They, they differed not on that, that thing. Meaning he's talking about in general, he's talking about two, two different things here. He's talking about the we settled them. Yeah? Yes, the on, settlement, on that, we got that. Yes. that. And okay, if you want to take, talk about differ here, the, the, the Jews, even wherever they were settled, they were fighting within each other when the Moses went up in the mountain as well. But it says until uh, they differed not until the knowledge came to them. And, and the Moses bring, came with the knowledge with them. To them. Right. So, so you're saying the knowledge is a Torah, correct? For that, that time, yes, it was a Torah. So what did they differ from before that then? Before that? Yeah, what did they differ from before that? Because they had no revelation from God. Didn't Jews, okay, didn't Jews differ after Torah as well, the Torah came to them? Didn't they First of all, the, the, they, they differed after. They differed after. It's uh, for this, after, this verse. After the, yeah, that's yes, after. after. Until, but it until says they differed them. not until, I so mean, until when, the when, revelation was given to them. So, then so then, before, before Israel, before, before Moses gives the message from Mount Sinai, they were not different. That's what your God's saying. But that's a lie because they did differ. There was many different tribes and they differed before the law of Moses. The tribes, the tribes differ before the law of Moses. Yes. Some went out to battle, some didn't. Jews. Yes, Jews differed. So uh, hang on a minute. Then the knowledge is talking about then not more Torah. The knowledge is talking about where, wherever the children of Israel from the beginning, from Abraham, from Isaac. So it has so to be that. Your, your no. interpretation fails so, by the fact that you can't just simply read this verse and then read the next verse and equate them both. It cannot mean that. For example, if we read what he, because first of all, indeed your Lord will judge between them on the day of resurrection. Okay. First of and all, they did not differ until. Is Muhammad a prophet of God? Let's, let's go by your interpretation. Is, no. If Muhammad is a prophet of God, right, and, and Allah is saying to Muhammad, if thou were in doubt concerning that which we reveal unto thee, then question those who read the scripture that was before thee. Let me say what the difference is talking about here. Because I, you can, I you can look up, I that's fine. I answer from myself here, but I just, I just told you that Allah says we settled them, and that was a revelation from Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Right. If we are, if we but it doubt, says they differed if, not if we, if until are, the revelation came down. So that, that's a clear contradiction in your part, not mine. No, it's, well, how is it a contradiction? Good, because that's as I said before, if your, your interpretation of the verse before, and I'm just going to repeat what you said, right? You said that if we read verse 93, right? What's, what's Allah, what Allah meant in verse 94, right? When he says, if thou were in doubt as to what we revealed unto thee, then ask those who have been reading the scripture before you, right? That that was talking about 93, that specific verse. Right, that was your interpretation that you gave to me. And I'm saying, look, the verse says that Israel differed until the revelation came. And, and I'm saying that's a contradiction. Until the knowledge came to them. Yes, until the knowledge of revelation, whatever. And the other thing is, this, this verse is actually speaking to Muhammad. It's not speaking to anybody else, it's speaking to Muhammad. It's saying, if you, Muhammad, are in doubt concerning that which we have revealed unto you. So was there no Quran revealed before this? It's very first. The Quran doesn't say Muhammad by the Quran doesn't say Muhammad. You're reading the brackets again. 
Okay, so even the Quran, the, yeah, the Quran is the same. Be very careful when you read. Brackets. So, but, but who who would the Quran be? Who would the Quran be talking to if then it's not talking to Muhammad? Addresses, addresses. Many times Quran talk about the addresses. The one whoever addresses you. Okay, let's say let's say it's talking about the Muslims, then, right? Entering the Quran. So yeah. There must be many Muslims. There let's say it's talking many. about the Muslims. Let's say let's just Some give Muslims, you. That. Really and if thou really are in really doubt concerning that which you reveal unto thee, then question those who read the scripture that was before thee. That's clearly talking about what was revealed before. Because what was revealed before that, not just verse 93, but the other verses before this very ayah was brought so down. You are, if you are in doubt about that which we have revealed to you, then ask those who have been reading the scripture before you. Yes. The truth, truth has certainly come to you from your Lord. So never be among the doubters. And it's so not just talking, talking about, about verse any, 93. Any, it's talking about everything in the Quran. No, no, it's not. Yes, that, it that's is. That's your interpretation now. It's, it's not my interpretation. It's what the Quran is saying. the Quran with context? Everything is in, the, is in context. That's what the Quran is literally saying. Okay. Because the, the context you provided shows a contradiction That's, in your points. Because no, it you, doesn't, it doesn't show contradiction. I, I literally just proved, look, you were talking about verse 93 as if it, if it somehow backs up your point. It's, it's saying here, and indeed we said to the children of Israel an honourable dwelling place, yeah, and provide them with good things, and they differed not until the knowledge came to them. Very Allah will judge between them and the day of resurrection in that they used to differ. So they were different. But Allah is saying He will judge them during a later time. So after the Qur'an has been revealed, Allah will judge those who are different within the children of Israel. Now we get to the verse 94, right? And it says this, And if thou art in doubt concerning that which we reveal unto thee, then question those who read the scripture that was before thee. Now, Muhammad, Allah is not telling Muhammad, that, no, Allah is not telling the person who is addressed to you, the Muslims or whatever, that, oh, the, the Jews are unreliable, don't trust them because they differ in their opinions. But hold on, earlier, earlier on in verse 93, he's saying that they'll be judged for differing in their opinions. So you're telling me that Allah is saying to Muslims, you go to people who are unreliable and get information no, from no. them. This is such a basic story. No Jews differ from, from this story. That, that God has given them the land and provided them the food. About, about food. No Jew differ about that. When we talk about the knowledge, the ilm the Jews were given, my understanding would be, I said Torah, but the Torah doesn't say that. That was on my part, I say Torah. What? But knowledge of what? Knowledge of God, the hereafter. And Jews... You've added that to the verse. That doesn't say no, that. No, no. But it doesn't even say Torah. You ask my word for it, I say Torah. So it, can, it cannot be Torah because if they disagree before. So it cannot be Torah. Talk about no, but you're, you're trying to reconcile it. It's not there. That those, if if you I, said use the Quran to interpret the Quran, that's what I'm doing. No, if, if I make my mistake on my part, that doesn't mean the Quran is mistaken here. Yeah? When you say what knowledge, you ask me a question, what knowledge, the knowledge can go back to the knowledge of God. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, when they told them what But God, the, the, what does God the verse is. itself say that? The knowledge. What knowledge? The, the verse just says knowledge. So, one, no, so what, what does knowledge mean? What knowledge? Knowledge, I would say the, the most obvious knowledge is knowledge of God. Who God is. The verse doesn't say that though. Torah is right. Yeah, the, but I, I didn't say it said Torah. I'm saying what does the knowledge what, mean what then? You can't, you can't just add to the verse what, something that's not what there. What we're saying is when they were told that you are a chosen people, yeah? You are, Abraham told them, Isaac and all that. Right. After that they were divided. So we know they differ from each other. They divided. There's many different things there. So Allah is saying they're supposed to be united, but they didn't. Yeah, but they, they didn't just divide on what, what they, they, they didn't just divide they, they on what how God's they, nature was. Or they disagreed. So they, they disagreed about what was in the Torah itself. Some before of them were Torah, before Torah, what they disagree on. Before Torah, they disagreed on many things. Exactly. For example, they disagreed on like lands, ownership. They disagreed on like um, who should follow Moses, who shouldn't. For example, like certain Israelites went on to wars that others didn't participate Moses didn't in. Come before Torah. They they can't say who should follow Moses or not. Before Moses, they, they must have disagreed before Moses, didn't they? That's what they were uh, Yes, divided. they did. Yes, that's what they were. So that's why God said they should be united. Yeah? Before knowledge. They should be united, but they were not they, they divided. Okay, I said Torah, but the Quran didn't say Torah. The Quran just says knowledge, bro. That's the, the that's the fact. It doesn't even mention everything exactly. you've just said. So so knowledge means what? But we have to ask Allah. Uh, no, because no. The, the Quran also says that it's an unclear verse. But when you say it's a contradiction, so you have to provide how this is a contradiction. It's not no, a contradiction. no, it's a contradiction what the claim you're making. You're, you're making that verse 94 is speaking about specifically verse 93 right. and nothing yeah. else. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying that a verse does not describe it that way. It's yeah. saying, so if you are in doubt concerning that which is revealed unto you, yeah, that's been added, and in Jill, then ask those who are reading the book before you. Actually, you know what? That's my point even stronger. When you add really to about the knowledge. 
Well, Allah saying verse 93, he revealed two things to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He gave them the land and the food, and they differ before, the, uh, until the knowledge came to them. They differ after the knowledge came to them. No, they so differed now, not. It says they differed they not. Differ not until the knowledge came to them. Yes. Yes. Sir. That means after the knowledge they, they differ. Yeah? Yes, apparently. So, okay. So now we go to the Jews. Is that true that you were given the Holy Land? Jews will say yes. Is it true that uh, uh, until after the knowledge you start, you, you disagree with each other, you divide it? They will say yes, actually it's true. Yes. So that well, makes my point. There was 94 is saying, go and ask them what we reveal to you. And no. Allah, Allah revealed. Because Jews, once again, Allah, it, Allah it, verse 93 is talking. First of all, verse 93 actually close lines the, the entire passage. So it close lines, it ends there. That's yeah. obvious. If you read those in I free context, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish here right now. If you want to, if you want to leave, that's fine. No, no. I, I'll, I'll just address my Look, point in the camera. I say, I say I'm going to talk to you a few minutes only, and we'll be If you want to leave, that's fine. About one hour. And but I'll, I'll just say this, right? If you want to, for talk example, to like, like, but chapter five, verse sixty-eight does say that if you Jews and Christians have any doubt, goes first of all, go back to the scriptures that have been given. So yeah. There are scriptures that were given and, and we had to read them. And, and Verse 94 actually does say that if you have any doubt as to what's revealed to you, then, then go to those who have been reading the book before you. It also, Verse 93 says that those people differed and that they would be judged at the end of Judgment and Day. Ask, ask them what we so they, they're still different. They, they haven't stopped differing. Or are you saying they have? No, no. They, they start differing. After the until the knowledge came. Okay, so the knowledge came. After the knowledge, they start differing. Yeah. yeah. So the knowledge has come, this, and then it start. This, this means and this. then it start differing, right? Yeah. So they're differing when Allah asks asks you Muslims to go to those who read for you. They're no. different, are they? But what Allah no, 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 Abbas, Abbas, answer, answer my I'm question. I'm answering you. I'm answering so they're different, right? I'm answering you. Listen to me. I'm answering you. They're different in what? In everything? It doesn't say different in everything, but they do differ. But in this particular thing, this rebel, the, the, they were given that place and they differed, everyone will say, yes, it's true. No Jew will say, yes, we were not that we were not given the Holy Land. Every Jew will say, yes, it's in the Torah. How can they deny it? They were given the Holy no, Land. First of all, you, you're, yes, you're, you're reading, so again, the, uh, Bash, you're reading your interpretation to the scripture no, no, saying. A, the scripture is nowhere simple, saying that this meaning. verse is talking about a verse prior to it beside, at all. Beside, uh, secondly, uh, John, secondly, John, you claim... Frustrating for me. I want to talk. I, I don't. I, don't, I, I, want I, I to could help care less. You understand the point? No, no. You're, you're, you're adding your tafsir because to what the Quran is saying. I'm saying you, your tafsir doesn't supply ev no. provide evidence to what the Quran is saying because the Quran is clear, right? If you have doubt, go right. to those who read the scripture for you. What is revealed? No, no, he say is that the Quran revealed? You're reading the wrong again. Has, has the Quran been revealed? Wrong again. Has the Quran been revealed? If you are in doubt, Abbas has the Quran. Has the Quran been revealed? Is the Quran revelation? Is the Quran a revelation? Another question. Now. Is the Quran a revelation? It's a, it's a simple question. No, no, it's another. I have. To is it not? It's not I, a revelation. I have to correct you. What you just said. It's not a revelation. John, you must understand. Quran it's Quran. either a revelation or not. Is the Quran a revelation? No. Is it? Where is, or is it going? It? Where is it going? This question. Is the Quran a revelation? It's a loaded question, isn't it? I don't it's, want to ask it's not a loaded, loaded question just like that. It's, an, it's a question. This is a loaded question. So the Quran is not a revelation. The Quran did say this is a revelation. You okay, thank it. you. you so it. you just proved my point then. I mean, you can go if you want. If the Quran is Revelation and those who read the scripture are supposed to go to Revelation or reveal before it, then you're supposed to come to me for evidence about your Quran. You no, know everything. Quran is telling us that you distorted it. You forgotten. Christians forgotten. Chapter then five. the Quran chapter five. is basically contradicting no, itself. Chapter Thank five, you. Verse 13 says Jews have distorted and forgotten the portion of it. Verse 14 says, and those who call themselves Christians, they have forgotten the portion of it. Uh, so how look can at this guy? How oh, you doing, such a truck, guys. Yeah. So it yeah. says they've forgotten the portion of it. That doesn't mean they forgot everything. But this particular thing, no one forgets and no one disagree that yes, we were given the land and the food, and yes, we disagree after the knowledge came to us. The, the verse is not even talking mean. about that and verse. Remember, it's saying, as for those who read the scripture for you, if you want to know anything about what we've okay, revealed to you, the word anything. what we have revealed, everything. what we have revealed to anything? you. So the fact it. is, Abbas wants to add the prior verse well, to just, what the context in this verse word, is saying. But anything. the fact is, Allah is speaking to the, the Muslims of. Uh, supposedly Muhammad's day, go, right? I just want to so if you. Allah is speaking to the yeah. Muslims of Muhammad's day, not, right? You are you going to be you quiet, bro? <laughs> I mean, you're still talking. Chapter right. 5, verse but, 48 says, Quran is a criterion over them. That's it. Whatever you want to judge, if you want to, if you want to talk about, if you want to talk about what criterion means, because I know what the word for criterion yeah. means, right? If you want to talk about, it, we can talk about, it. we can go about it. Yeah. because there's a lot of tafsir writers who claims that criterion does not mean to correct criterion. No, it doesn't mean that. What it actually means is a witness to judge right from wrong. 
Yes, no, no, a witness. It doesn't Criterion say judge. Mean judge right from no, 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 no. Yes. It says a witness. The word used, the word used is witness. Mohamed. In fact, I'm going to show. Yeah, Mohammed means the witness. Can I show you? Mohammed means right from wrong. Oh, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you a bunch of tafsir writers who claim that Mohammed actually means to bear witness. John, will you give me the courtesy next week? I'll come and ask you a question about your Bible. Can you give me a courtesy? No, we, my... we Muslims are very generous. We answer anything you ask. Yes, but you're, you're, you're a funny that? guy. Anyway. Come on, you must be courtesy good. to ask you a question next week. I don't, I don't mind. I'm going to be here next that's week. Good. We that's can have good. a conversation. That's it's good. fine. But like, I want to talk about the word Mohammed quickly because you said you got to go, and I appreciate that. So yeah. like, I'm just going to talk about Mohammed. Remember, I say only a few minutes. I give you more than one hour. Come on, you can't complain about that. No, no, I appreciate the fact that you stuck around. I'm glad you have, bro. No, no. Uh, all right, so I, I'm a seeker of truth. I will never run away. That's nice. That's nice. Well, all right, we're going to go to... Chapter 5, verse 48. Yeah, we'll go to chapter 5, verse 48. And then... In fact, I've got, I've got it in my bookmarks. Sorry, but I'm just getting my um, information up because I've got it on here. Okay, so this is Al Jalalain's interpretation of what Muhammad means, right? In fact, I'll go to wait. In fact, I'll go to yeah, I'll go to Al Tabri first, and then I'll go back to Al Jalalain. Regarding Muhammad, Allah says that he brought down the book Quran to you. O Muhammad, believe in the books that came before it, and a witness to them, the previous scriptures that are the truth from Allah faithful to them and the protector of them. The root of Haymana means to protect and watch over. That is why it is said that when a man watches over something and protects it, it is Haymana over it. The present verb of the, the formula verb is Yuhayman and the noun is Haymana. Based on what we have mentioned, the people of the interpretation have differed in their explanation of this word. For some said that it means to be a witness. Of those that had the above mentioned opinion, it was narrated by Al Mafni narrated by Abdullah ibn Sali, narrated by Muayyah ibn Sali, narrated by Alo and a bunch of people, narrated by Ibn Abbas, who stated that Muhammad means to witness. So it's clear that Al Jalalain, quoting a bunch of people, quoting Ibn Abbas, says that Muhammad means to bear witness. And that's not the only one. You can go through a bunch of them if you want to, but I'll use this just to, just to not waste time and then late, maybe next week we'll talk more about it. But Muhammad means to bear witness. It doesn't mean to correct any criterion. It never has to. Done. Witness, not, not overseer. It, it can be. Like, here's the thing. That it, Abbas says that the people of interpretation have differed on the verse. They've, they've, differed, they've differed about what Muhammad means. So some have said that it means to bear witness. Some have said it means to correct. Some, some have said it means to guide. But from what I've seen, majority say as it is it's supposed to be a protector and a witness and a confirmer of the scripture before. Let's read the verse again. Can we read the verse again? Chapter 5, verse 40, very quickly. Yeah, no we problem. We have revealed to you the book in truth, confirming that which preceded it of the scripture. Confirming that which preceded it of the scripture. Yeah. And as a criterion over it. Yeah. Criterion over it. Muhammad. Yeah. So a protector over it. Protector, protector over it. Yes, but so not... But not so judge between them by what Allah has revealed and do not follow their inclinations away from what has come to you of the truth. To, to each of you we prescribe the law. So I'm not going to read all of it. So meaning, if the Quran, Muhammad says, judge them what we have revealed to you, judge. So how come, if that is right as well, how come Muhammad or the Quran has to judge over them? Unless you are superlative form, you are better, you know better, how can you judge if they are they're all the same, if it's all the same? I can tell you what he means, watcher over it or guardian over it, for example, over what? What we have revealed. So we believe Muslims, there are revelations in the, in the book, in the Bible, which is from God, and they are words of men. So we delete the words of men and the Quran protects what was revealed before. Doesn't, so it doesn't the, say delete. The, the Quran, okay, so... Sorry, so the, the Quran doesn't, for example, the interpretation, I brought, so the, the interpretation I brought to you do not affirm the idea that you can just cancel out passages from the Bible. doesn't say that. doesn't say that at all. It says to bear witness of it. Now, witness now of what? Muhammad himself, did you know that? Muhammad himself is called a Muhammad over the Quran. Muhammad over the Quran? Yes. I don't know about that. I'm going to get the, the verse up. Wait one minute. Um, Quran, yeah? 
I don't think it's a verse, I think it's a hadith, but I'm going to get it up, wait. Um, the main story is going to be So that's Sayyid. So what we believe, the Quran came to protect the revelation before. What we believe, what was revealed to Moses, what was revealed to Jesus, what was revealed to Abraham, Quran is confirming. So whatever, that's why we say criterion is, it's, it's a yardstick. So whatever Bible goes with the Quran, we take it as a word of God. We don't, we don't believe Paul's letters are from God. Oh, so this is our Kirby, right? You may not believe it, but that doesn't mean that your, your book is not a, a protector over it or witness to it, which is fine in our religion because your religion claims to confirm it, but that doesn't mean it changes anything. Yeah, but but right, let, let's go on. Al Jawari narrated that it means to give protection to him who is sacred for the reading? original form. I'm reading from, uh, this is Al Qurtubi. This is Al Qurtubi, right? It's not Hadith, no? Al Qurtubi is well, he's, well, he's tafsir, he's not Hadith. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. exactly. So he's, uh, but he's saying that who said that? Did you say the Prophet said that? No, he said Al Jawari narrated that it means to give protection to him who is scared. For the original form of the word Muhammad is actually a, a mana. So there are two A, Hamza letters in the word. But yeah. the second A was changed in letter E. Ya out of necessity, so the word became Muhammad. Later, the first A, Hamza, was changed into H to become Muhammad, as to saying the water was poured. And from it is derived the meaning to protect. Abu Ubaid narrated from Jahid ibn Mahiz that it is read Muhammad by changing the diacritical mark, uh, mark above the second M to give the meaning that Muhammad was given the responsibility over the Quran. So what, what, what is being narrated here is that Muhammad himself is a protector of the Quran and so the words, the, the way he's using it is Muhammad is, oh, Muhammad is protector of the Quran. So, so he's in a hadith, but it's a tafsir. saying this verse, Muhammad here is Muhammad. No, 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 no. He isn't saying that that verse specifically is, is Muhammad, no. but he's saying that Muhammad at, like, also. like the words Muhammad means to protect, Muhammad becomes a protector of the Quran. But Muhammad can't be a change of the Quran because he received revelation or wahi from God. This is the word of course to be known. Yes, not the, it's not the but, but what I'm, I'm saying is this was earlier interpretation than your yeah, tafsir. You, you know that there's a difference that Muhammad says, I am a Muhammad, or Quran says, Muhammad, you are a Muhammad, and Qurtubi think that Muhammad is a Muhammad. It's a Qurtubi's word, he's a human being as Imam Malik But what, said, what I'm saying is... Imam Malik said that you can disagree with anyone you like, Apart from the Prophet Muhammad among the human beings. That, that's fine, but what I'm saying is this was the earlier, these are one of the early interpretations of the scholars of your Quran. No, it's not a word of it's, God. It's like me saying I don't take say Justin Martyr, he's a heretic. It's like, well, I can't really do that. I mean, you, you can't say, oh, I don't trust Justin Martyr. Can you disagree but, with the scholars or not? Um, I kind of disagree if there's some so, points, so but when, when it comes to when it comes to letters, for example, how the, the Bible is to be interpreted, for example, if St. Justin Martyr, if, if Irenaeus, if Ignatius all say that there's a trinity in the Bible, and I say, well, I'm a Unitarian, I don't bother with that, then I'm the one with the problem, not them, because they're early and they're testable. It's the same with your Quran and Tafsir, right? This, this Tafsir by al Qurtubi is early, and I've shown you even Kafir, the same person, the same person you Muslims came, no, that's Ibn Abbas. But Ibn Abbas claims to be the ink of the Ummah, right? Or at least they call him the ink of the Ummah. Yeah. So if he's the ink of the Ummah, he's at least got some sort of profoundity within the Islamic religion, right? You, you get what I'm saying? Yes. So uh, he's, he's at least got some sort of status. He isn't just a nobody. And it's the same with Ibn Kafir, and I think Al Jalalain now curbed to me. I think they're, they're good enough yeah. what interpreters I, what I'm saying that our Quran to actually be able to claim that. To, Muhammad means to bear witness. Our That's my Quran, point. Before I go, just let me say one point. Our Quran did give us permission that we can disagree with anyone apart from Allah and His Rasul. Right. You know that chapter 4 verse 59 says that. Yeah. Obey Allah and obey the Messenger and the leaders among yourself. There's a lot of problems with that verse but, but, as well, but, but, but right, we can but, get to that. But, but if you disagree among each other, come back to Allah and His Messenger. That means Allah has given us green light that we can disagree among each other if we want to. But obviously, to disagree, we have to have logic, rational. I'm not going to disagree with Kurtubi for the sake of it, but I'm saying that this is not a word of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yeah, but Abbas, Abbas you're not God. just disagreeing with Kurtubi, you're disagreeing with Kafir, you're disagreeing with Al Jalalain as well. Yeah. Yes. I'm disagreeing with that's scholars. free early I'm scholars. scholars. But I'm saying that this is not a word of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But that's free this early is, scholars. This is not a word of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. So I can disagree with this. But actually, I, the, maybe next week I can show you Right. I, and you will go with me rather than the scholars. All Tabari, Jalalain, not Jalalain, Jalalain is the exception. Um, all the scholars are wrong and I'm right and I'll prove it to you next week. And you will agree with me. That that's, but, yeah, that's but, right. I, I don't mind. What I'm saying is that human beings can make mistakes. 
Yeah, I'm fine yeah. with that. Well, yeah. what I'm saying, when it comes to early Islamic jurisprudence, right, we can't just simply say they've made a mistake about words that... These are Arabic speakers, by the way. These are native well, Arabic speakers. I'm and, and next week... I'll and, uh, you're telling me as well I disagree with them. Next I mean, week, it's fine if you do. I don't really care. Yeah, but like, what, what, it's, what, what so, like, they're, they're, they're saying Muhammad means to bear witness. So the scholars, no, That's good to be said. The scholars are telling us we can disagree with anyone apart from Muhammad. That's right. So, what we're saying, scholars can't be wrong. Are but I would I would say they and know they know more English. about the Arabic language yeah, than you yeah, do. Yeah, exactly. So and to bear witness, Muhammad means to bear witness. Know the basics of Islam more than anybody else. Exactly. Yeah? Okay. Now I'm going to show you. Shall I show you right now then? Um, okay. Well, you said you wanted to go, bro. So that's, no, it's no, up no, to you. No, it's up to you. you just keep uh, putting that point across. So I'll show it to you. Chapter no, it's, it's fine if you want to go because it is getting late. No, no, but it's up to you. It's very quickly. Chapter 17, verse 76. It says, and indeed they were about to provoke you from the land, to right. ev evict you uh, therefrom. And when they will not remain after you except for a little. Right. You know what he's talking about? Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Makkans. Right. The Makkans try to throw you out hmm. from, from Mecca. So end of the day, they will be thrown out, not you. Right. Yeah. Now you know what Tabari says that, Jalalan says that, Kurtubi says that. You know what he says that? Right. What the interpretation is? It's talking about the Jews of Medina. So open it if you want to. Kurtubi, Tabari, great scholars. They say this is talking about the Jews of Medina. They will be thrown out one day and you will stay here. But it can't be possible. You know why? Because this verse revealed in Makkah. Hmm. Surah Isra revealed in Makkah, not in Medina. What? So there's your answer. All those great scholars got the basic history wrong. If you don't believe me, look look into that and you come back to me. And I'm telling you, we, we know I mean, the, I, I, we know the I don't history. mind that you have Ibn that temptation, Kathir, but Ibn again, Kathir. I don't think they would be wrong about words here. Ibn agree with me. Especially if they're native speakers of those words. No, no. They are so we're not, we're not just talking about one verse or their interpretation no, of verse. We're talking about how they use language at their time. And if they were using Mahayim right to refer wrong? to... Are they right or wrong here? They're talking about, they say this is about the Jews of Medina. If, if, they, if they're using language to interpret it that way, that's their opinion. But what no. I'm saying is when it comes to language, when it, co about? when it comes to they, vowels, they, allow me to finish, yeah. when it comes to vowels, when it, talk, it comes to languages, those Arabic speakers, speakers who are native to that land, right, they would know exactly what they were talking about. And when they say Mahayim, when they say Mahayim means to be bear witness, it's something to take into account. This I'm talking about this one. Open any, any commentary apart from Ibn Kathir. All of them, they say this is talking about the Jews of Medina. And you believe it's talking about Mecca? Because Surah Isra revealed in Mecca. Surah Isra, the journey of when Muhammad Sallallahu went up, is revealed in Mecca, not in Medina. So this cannot be about the Jews. And Ibn Kathir got it right. Ibn Kathir, right so let, let's, Ibn actually, Kathir, let's actually go to... Um, let's follow your trainer for. What verse is that? Let me go to that. Verse 76. Quran 17 verse 76. Let's go to the commentary. So there's the point here, the scholars can be wrong. And most scholars say they're infallible. So Ibn Abbas, for example, he would get it wrong. Ibn, you know Ibn Abbas Tafsir is not original Ibn Abbas. It's been revised. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know Wikipedia revised. actually says that it's been revised. It's been revised it's been 500 checked. years ago, yeah. But if you're going to say that, you might as well say that about most hadith. No, Tafsir, Why because we can't really trust most of them. Kurtubi, Tabari, Jalalain, open them. So my question is, how are they Let's get this simple out, actually. history wrong? So it's 1776. 1776, yeah. So there, there's your answer that we can be disagree with the scholars? No, that's not an answer to my question. That's just you bringing up one, inter one interpretation of a contradiction and telling me, well, you can't trust them, which is not an argument. All right, so this is 1776 by al right? When the Jews said to him, if you are a prophet, then make your way to Syria, for it is a land of the prophets. The following was revealed, and indeed, Wa'in, the particle is, softens. They, they were about to evoke you out of the land, the land of Medina, to expel you from it. Thank you. But then, they had, had, had they expelled you, they would not have remained after you, and except a little while, after which they would, not, would have been destroyed. And you're saying that the verse is saying Mecca. The word real in Mecca. This chapter revealed in Mecca, Surah Isra. So, so, it, any, so, any, it, so, so you're saying that it can't, so when, when, did, when did Muhammad go to Mecca? Okay, hang on a minute. I'll show you Ibn Kathir now. What Ibn Kathir says? Let's see what Ibn Kathir says. Can we? We can, can but you, I, I can just want to ask you one can question. Can you open Ibn Kathir as well? I don't, yeah, I don't mind opening it, but I just want to ask you one question, right? When did Muhammad go to Mecca? 
He go to Mecca, and, you know, that's 12th year of his, uh, sorry, Medina, you mean, when he go to Medina. Oh, yeah, yeah, he traveled from Mecca to yeah. Medina. So, yeah, so exactly. Muhammad was already in Me Mecca. Mecca? Exactly. What? He was in Mecca. And that was revealed in Mecca, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that must be talking about a future event. So this verse, like, no. you, like you said yourself, right? No. There are verses that are Mutashabia that we no, no, don't know. About, it's not talking so, about, it's talking about <coughs> those people who yeah, want to throw you out. They will be thrown out and we know what happened. What happened? The Makkans. They, Muhammad said some rule over them. He took over from them. This is talking about the verse, talking about the people who want to throw you out. It's not talking about in the future they will be throwing you out. It's not giving you prophecy. How do you know? How do you know? Because it's, look at the words, what he says there. Let, let me read the verse again to you. Go ahead. Um, and you know, Ibn Kathir disagree with Jalalain. So who's right? I, I, right? Here's the thing, I don't even have to like, justify them being right. Because I just showed you what they believe so about. One of them is, is wrong, isn't it? Even the great scholars like that who know. Bro, bro think... you're talking to a Christian who believes everything in your tradition is wrong, no, including no, 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 Ibn Kathir, no. Ibn Tafsir. I don't care about any of these things. You made a claim. <laughs> you made a claim. How can they, those who know Arabic and everything, no, no, they I, are the experts? No, I, no, no. My how claim can was. You are right and they're wrong. No, my claim was, Abbas, right? That those who are studying the Arabic before you did. Obviously, would know a bit more about it. Now, you, you can stand there and claim, look, they got this verse wrong. I'll grant you that there just for the sake of argument. No, no, you, you don't have to show me it. I'll grant you they were wrong about the verse. Thank right? you very much. Just, just to you, grant you it. There you go. Right? But that doesn't necessarily mean they're wrong about everything. Oh, nor, does it, nor does it mean that oh. when, they when they come into a consensus about certain things, right, especially about what languages they use at the time. Remember, Ibn Kafir al Jalain were Arabic speakers. So when they use the term Muhammad, they can't necessarily be wrong about it. No, I'm saying that I don't disagree with them. For like, the I, could, I could say I that. I say I will use my logic and reason and then rationality. So when I use that and I say those scholars are wrong, they got the history wrong, they got the place wrong. Okay, so right. I, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Right. I, that's what I do. So when, when I find them wrong, I'll say they're wrong. So to use an example, so like, from my own tradition, I'm not even going to mention the crime, I'll mention my own tradition, right? So, to, so example, there's, there's, a, there's a church father called St. John Chrysostom, right? He believes that Mary was perpetually a virgin, right? So that means that after she gave birth to Jesus, she remained a virgin, right? I don't agree with that. There are other church fathers who believe that as well. For example, Athanasius of Alexandria believed it. And other church, I don't agree with that. But again, because the, the Bible doesn't say it. But that doesn't mean that they were wrong about everything they no, believed. No, I agree with you. And that doesn't mean I can, I can go to them and say, you know when you use that term for the Greek, that was wrong. Because... When I, look, when I look at earlier sources, it doesn't seem wrong at all. Well, I'm saying this, it's something you don't find in the Bible, yeah, at all, the Word of God. And you find something outside the Bible, by the, even the consensus, you have to at least ask a question. Of course, uh, you always yeah. have to answer a question. Yeah, they but, can be right and wrong, but you can't blindly believe everything, say that, even the consensus. But the thing is, I'm not blindly believing. I'm going by what languages they use, because language is different. To, from the context of a verse meaning. I can have an interpretation of a verse, like for example, Muhammad Pickthall had interpretations of verses that some scholars disagree with. He, he literally translated verses a different way than, for example, Arbery would have, or, 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 or Sahih International would have. That doesn't necessarily mean that he was wrong in his interpretation. But what I'm saying, when it comes to language, like vowels, like transliteration of language, Muhammad is a consensus amongst your scholars as being a protector or witness. And there are there are very few who differ in that interpretation. Okay. So if, uh, or, or you, if you believe go with consensus, then you will disagree with the consensus. No, I'm not saying you should agree with all consensus. Thank you didn't you hear what I said. But I'm, when I, what I'm saying when it comes to linguistics, consensus can be right and wrong. Yes. Yes, I'm not okay. denying it. I'm not so saying it's infallible. That's all. That's all. Uh, thing. When when it says the Muhammad uh, Allah Allah sent blessing on you, but you say no. The word says pray. But you say all translators says, says and Allah and His as the angels. Send blessings on you. You remember the translation? Yeah, yeah, yeah I know the translation. But you yeah. said this is, they're all wrong. Of you course, because the Arabic would be exactly. Yeah. So the consensus says other thing, but you say the word Arabic means something different. What? Right. Yeah? So when, what I'm saying that consensus can be right and wrong. The consensus is not our yashik. My yashik is Quran and Sunnah. What? Right. Not the Sunnah. Not the consensus. So don't say it's good to be called Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I disagree with you. I'm, I'm saying, what, what I'm saying is that is the interpretation of your earlier scholars. And that's, that's what I've okay. seen. Maybe I need to read a little bit more into it. What he's saying, in his view, in his mind, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Muhammad, yeah. over Muslims or over Quran? Muhammad over what? Muhammad over the Quran. So, if, yeah, yeah, over the Quran. So, if, my, if Muhammad, if you're going to use your interpretation that it's a criterion correct, right, then Muhammad changes the Quran, which doesn't make any sense. 
because the, if the Quran is perfect, why would Muhammad be able to change it? I'm not it? saying that. I'm not saying that. Yeah, but like, if we use your interpretation of what Muhammad means, which okay, we can't we use. We leave it here, John. Nice yeah, 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 man. Yeah, Take nice care, food, man. Yeah. It's Sorry, a nice calm yeah, conversation. Yeah, yeah. May Allah forgive me if I make any mistake. I'm a human being as well. Man. Listen, I make mistakes all the time. <laughs> <laughs> we all learn from each other, yeah? The yeah. next week, I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah? yeah, yeah, no problem, man. Take care, bro. It was a good conversation with a um, not a jab, <laughs> a bass. We, we, um, we went through certain topics, right? One of the verses we addressed was um, basically the chapter 3, verse 7, which basically says that um, there are clear and unclear verses, right? Um, Abbas's interpretation is a weak interpretation because it doesn't, a, a, it doesn't provide an answer as to why Allah has stated there are clear and unclear verses in the Quran, but yet all throughout the Quran, in chapter 11, verse 1, I think, in chapter 12, in chapter 29, in chapter 16, I, the, the verses I brought up in earlier in the video, he clearly states that it is a clear book. It's a clear Quran and the verses are clear. So if the verses are very clear, then it should be no problem that the Quran is clear. But the problem is the Quran says itself in chapter 3, verse 7, that it's an unclear book, which is a contradiction in terms. It's either the Quran is clear or it's unclear. We then went on to talk about, because um, I'm trying to remember, we went through a lot of stuff. But we went, we went on to talk about, yeah, it was, it was basically about, yeah, chapter 1094. So chapter 1094 says that if you have any doubt concerning those who read the script, no, if you have any doubt concerning what we have revealed to you, go to those who've been reading the scripture before you. Now, those who've been reading the scripture before you are clearly Jews and Christians, that's evident, right? The, what we have revealed to you is where the argument started. Abbas's claims, foolishly that verse 93 is about is that revelation so he's claiming that that revelation that has been revealed that we should inquire the Jews and Christians of is the revelation in 93 about the Jews setting in their town the problem with that interpretation is that the Jews the very verse itself says that the Jews differed in after they were given a revelation so then if we read it the way Abbas wants us to read it it can only be inferred that Allah wants us to go to people who have different interpretations and to ask them about a book. That makes no more, that makes no more sense than my interpretation. But my interpretation makes more sense anyway, right? In vision terms. Long story short, right? 1094 is clearly talking about <coughs> the revelation of the Quran. It has to be. So if you have any doubt concerning, concerning uh, what we have revealed to you, the revelation of the Quran, Go to those who are reading scripture for you. So Jews and Christians, you have to come to us about your book. And I want a cohesive answer. Is any Jew or Christian or Muslim going to come down here? Or well, especially Muslim, right? Is a Muslim going to come down here and debate me on this point? Um, as for that, we don't really have anything else to say. I think next week I'm going to debate him again. But I would, I would urge more Muslims to come down and debate me on this topic. I think it's a problem for your religion. If you believe that the Quran is the guidance and light for all men, right? And yet you have to go to people like me to interpret it, then it obviously isn't a guidance and light anymore. Well, anyway, um, yeah, man. see you later. Respect, respect. Respect is what it is. <laughs> respect. <laughs>